Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a brand new adventure starring the ever-glorious Miss Betty Boop, that singing and dancing ray of cartoon sunshine. When last we saw Betty, she was always getting into trouble, always getting out of trouble, and always getting into it again. Join us now as our plucky heroine, together with her trusty pals Coco the Clown and Bimbo the Musical Dog, take on the wild and wonderful world of Hollywood, where anything can happen and usually does. Keep the nickel for a tip. Cheapskate. Uh-oh. Uh, hiya, doll. You're late, Mr. Slade. We'd better be able to count on you tonight. Uh, yeah, yeah, but uh, first let me get a cup of java, okay? Hey, how's about some service over here? Yeah, me too. Yeah, where's mine? Yeah. Where's my burger? Where's my eggs? Where's that waitress with them pretty legs? Betty, 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 Betty! Betty Boo, at your service. Yay! Betty! Here's your water, Elmo. Want a straw? That slice big enough for you, Jack? Don't eat so fast. How's about them clean peaches? <laughs> yum, yum. That Betty Boop is really sweet. You know, her singing is really neat. Yeah, but when's it gonna put her on Easy Street? Here's your cup of coffee, mister. Hey, let's have more sales. And less service. Where's them plates? Take it, Coco. Uh, speed it up. And watch the grill for me. <laughs> oh, no! We need more eggs, Coco! Whoa! Cover for us, Betty! Remember, Mr. Slade, I'm counting on you. Sure, sure, I'll take care of everything. You know, that waitress and her pals are pretty entertaining. Sorry, I can't stay to watch the show. This ain't no dance hall. It's a diner. Now what do we do? 
That's the third time this month we've been fired. Cheer up, Bimbo. We'll find another job. Yeah, but as musicians... We are musicians, and nothing's gonna change that. Besides, I got this feeling our big break is right around the corner. You're right about that, kid. I've been looking for some musicians to help me out on a surveillance job tonight. Then you're a detective? Sam Slade, best detective in town. You know, I was just having lunch with my client, a certain Miss Green. She's a personal secretary to Lola DeVille. Ooh, the big Hollywood movie star? The very same. Anyway, this Lola DeVille is wearing a million-dollar diamond necklace at a costume party tonight, and she wants undercover protection. So she sent Miss Green to hire me. But the job's too big for just one gumshoe. And uh, you being musicians, well, that's the perfect cover. You mean, like, musical detectives? What do you say? Well, we don't know much about detecting, but uh, we could surely find out. Right, boys? Swell! Tonight at the DeVille Mansion, 8 o'clock. Well, what are y'all staring at? Eat! Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Radio Hollywood reporting live from superstar Lola DeVille's annual masquerade ball. Oh, look, there's Maxwell Moviola, the great film director whose latest movie... be a big chance, Betty Boop. So don't blow it. Ooh. Betty! Oh, Sammy, you're so alarming. Yeah, report to me right away if you see anything suspicious. I'll be in this costume mingling with the guests. Aye, aye, Mon Capitan. Ooh, that's my cue. See you later, Sammy. <laughs> uh, break a leg, kiddo. Town and tropical nation, mysterious rhythm, sneaking into your feet with a sweet low down insinuation of syncopation. Oh, it puts you in a trance oh, and forces you to dance. Mysterious rhythm, irresistible. My name is Betty Boop, but you can call me Betty. <laughs> Miss Boop, I am Maxwell Moviola. The movie director from Moolah Studios? You've heard of me, no doubt. Your act is good. You must call me sometime. Well, gee, Mr. Moviola. Betty, look, it's Lola DeVille. Lola DeVille? Lola DeVille. Miss Green. Yes, Miss DeVille. Send an autograph photo to that clown. Right away, Miss DeVille. Hey, Bimbo, who's that guy following Miss DeVille? Huh? That guy with the big red nose. He sure looks suspicious to me. Yeah. Come on, Coco, let's find Sam. You keep an eye on him, Bimbo. Look at me. 
seize that woman. How dare you steal my treasure, you little gutter snipe? Somebody call the police. Just a minute. That's not my gun. Somebody with a big nose mask put it in my hand. Ah, uh, a likely story. Where is this big nose mask? Right here, Mr. Bill. Coco, tear off his mask. Let go of me, you idiots! I'm Lieutenant Snuffer of the Los Angeles Police Department! Oh, uh, oops! <laughs> I, mm. <laughs> I had an anonymous tip there'd be a heist tonight. Wait! Sam can tell you where's Sam! Oh, no! But I didn't do anything! Honest! Tell it to the judge, sister. You're under arrest. Coco, Bimbo, help me! Let's go, boys. I'm innocent! Innocent, do you hear me? Innocent! So, you don't know nothing, eh? I know I didn't do it, that's what I know. A likely story. Give her the light. Listen, sister, you better sing and fast. Okay. Poor little jailbird flew to the bottom of your soul. Enough of this hooey. Well, if you don't believe me, just ask Sam. Forget it. Bumping heads with DeVille Chandelier put him out indefinitely. Habeas and corpus, attorneys at law, here to see Miss Boo. -oo. Hmm. Terrible haircut. I'd sue if I were you. Oh, we need to talk to our client. We're getting nowhere, boys. But I got a better idea. I think you fellas... Coco, Bimba... What am I going to do? I've been framed. We know. We saw the thief. Did you catch him? No, he got away. But he dropped this. So I was right. Property of Moolah Studios. Hmm. Hey, this could get me off the hook. We've got to find out who was wearing this mask. But how can we do that while you're stuck in here? Everybody out! But I can't leave. I'm under arrest. Get out! Get the car, boys! She'll lead us right to the necklace. I don't like busting at a jail window. But the police will thank us when we crack the case. Let's go! Follow that car. Look, Bimbo, it's our old neighborhood. And there's our old ex-boss. Yoo-hoo, Dinah Dan. Betty? Betty, is that you? Yeah. We're, we're detectives nowadays. How's business? Oh, uh, uh, great. Just great. Say, Betty, you know, you know about what I said. Better was. get going. See you later, Dan. But, uh, but, uh, oh, darn. Hey, you can't come in here. Looking for a prop? Well, no. Do you know anything about... Hey, I've been looking for that. Where'd you find it? We think somebody stole it so they could frame Betty here. Stole it? Nah, nobody but me ever comes in here. And, of course, that sweet little lady brings me coffee. What sweet little lady? Now, what's her name? Uh, works for Lola DeVille. You mean Miss Green? Yeah, that's her. Miss Green, the secretary, of course. You two gotta stake out Lola's dressing room, and I gotta call Sam. Oh, hurry! Hello? Hello? Suspect detained, Sam's please. Operator! Number. Get me! One moment, please. Slade <coughs> here. Sam, are you all right? Yeah, fine, but what's... Uh... Sam, listen! Miss Green is behind the robbery! What? Well, I'll be. Uh, where are you now, Betty? Meet us right here at... Uh-oh. 
Betty! Hey, Betty! Betty, are you there? Your party has departed, sir. Can I help you? Oh. Detectives, ma'am. We're looking for Miss Green. Maybe you've seen her. A real mousy type. Gray hair. Oh, yes. She'll be right back. Come on in. You can meet in here if you like. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't see you. Why, you're Miss Green. Oh, yes. The mousy one. Hey, I'll give me that this. or I'll... It doesn't match your wig. Take it easy, will you? You don't scare me, you ruthless ruffian, you! Why, you little... Everybody freeze! Boy, are we glad to see you. This thief was about to escape with Lola's diamond necklace. Going on the lamb, eh? You and your pals have done a great job. Better let me keep the diamond. Hold it, Bimbo. Sam, how did you know to come here? I never told you where we were. Well, it's like this. Uh, seeing how you figured out about Greeny here... You were afraid I would have figured out about you! Yeah. Uh, figured out what? They're in it together and just wanted somebody to frame for the crime. Right. Now give me that diamond! Okay, Sammy. If you insist. I'm almost sorry, kid. You're not a bad detective for a good-looking dame. Have a good look yourself, wise guy. Hey! Yo! After them, you fool! Look, Betty, there's a door open. <laughs> Are you all right? Sure. Let's find Coco and get out of here. There he is. Uh-oh. Granny, I see him. I can see Boop and that dog. Use your gun, you imbecile! <laughs> Miss me, huh? Come on out or I'll fill you with lead. That nutsy dopesy. Take this, you. Ooh, that's what you are. Nobody makes a monkey out of Sam Slade. Sam, don't waste your... Bullets! Don't waste your bullets! Don't waste your bullets! <laughs> ha! Gotcha! Whoop! Coco! This way! Come on! Through here! Lights! Camera! Action! And chorus girls! Now the boys! Okay, boys, get ready for your unicycle backflips! Uh-oh! Betty, catch! Oh, I got it! Yes. So fast, Detective Slade. You and the lady are under arrest. Which is just what you deserve, you ungrateful baggage. Come on, baby. We're going home. Uh, I guess I was wrong about Betty Boop. Say, where is she anyway? Thank goodness justice was served after all. When something like this happens, it renews your faith in... Movie. Gee, thanks, Mr. Moviola. I'd love to work with... Not you. Ah! I have been looking for a sultry silent type for my next movie. 20,000 leaks under the sink. Come with me, my dear. We must screen test you immediately, if not sooner. Those eyes, those lips. 
ships. Can this be the fate to launch a thousand ships? Oh, that's good. Write that down. What's your name? Never mind. Don't worry, Betty. Our break will come. Thanks, Bimbo. You're a real pal. Um, is there Miss Betty Boop in here? Yes, I'm Betty Boop. Hello? Telegram. Me, me, me. I bring the flea from Diner Dan to get you back there if he can. Stop. If your attorney makes a vow to make it up to you somehow. Come, Come back, back Betty. Betty. <laughs> Will there be a reply, Miss Boop? You bet there will. Come on, boys. Ah, uh, two more, Coco. This way, please, gentlemen. Your cuisine will be prepared shortly. Dan, I'm so glad you discovered it's nicer to be nice to people. And I'm so glad you're back here at the diner. Uh, at least until your big break at showbiz diner. Well, like I always say, the best place to wait for your big break is with your friends. Oh, oh. Hey, where's my coffee? Where's my tea? But and most, most of all, all where's Betty? The world is such a complicated place. It rolls along at such a frantic pace. It's easy to get lost or miss a turn. If you get lost in Hollywood, well, this is what you learn. You don't have to be a star to be a star. You don't have to be more famous than you already are. You don't have to ride in a limousine. Or be on the front of a magazine. Or play in the perils of Pauline. Or be a star. You can be like the stars that hang in the sky and shine. You need to have some ooh -la, la A 12-room house with a swimming pool la, -la. And rake in lots of moo-la-la. -la. No! I'll tell you one more time. 